All right, so we got this all taken apart again. Started putting some Bondo on all these little cracks and crevices and stuff. And get this all sanded down. Hit it with some uh, primer. Paint it up. And we will be ready to go. All right, so we're going to DA all that down. Get that ready. Might have to lick it again with more, a little bit more, but for the most part, we're gonna just sand all that off, get it nice and smooth, and then go to town. All right, so it's all sanded down. Looks good. We're gonna hit it a coat of primer, and then we'll be painting it. So the sanding's all done. Get the forklift. We're gonna pick it up. We're gonna put it in the other room so we can put it on the lift. Go this way. Guess what day it is? It's getting painted now. All right, hang on. Let me help you. All right, that was fun. All right, well, we got it in here. We're gonna take the back wheels off. We're gonna do some uh, massaging on the inner fender wells and the back of the quarters. We're gonna get it all painted, primed, painted. And then we're gonna put the front clip on it to stay. We're gonna put the front suspension in it, wheels and all that stuff. The goal is that it's gonna roll out of this shop right now on its own. And then back into the other one make the headers and all that stuff probable we might end up making the headers in here we'll see depending on how much time we got on this lift all right here we go all right we're gonna take the mud hog and we're gonna go inside this wheel well and grind up all this extra crap that's under here so we don't touch the tires i'm gonna do that first both sides and then josh is gonna start cleaning the bottom up
it's like that thick. So that's about all I could get off it. And then we start hitting metal, we're good. All right, I'm gonna go do the other side, same thing, grind it all down, clean it up. All right, so this is what we got. I just blew it all off. We cleaned those two wheel wells off. Round them down as good as we can get them. Blew this all out. Now you get a look and see what the bottom looks like. Pretty cool. Front. So we're gonna wipe this all down, sand off all these little spots where we had our hands and wells and stuff. Wipe it all down with some paint thinner and stuff to get all the grease and whatnot off it, acetone. And then start priming it a whole thing. All right, so I just finished bending this tube for the dry shaft loop. I'm gonna cut it, notch it, and then Josh is gonna weld it in place. All right, so we got the dry shaft in there, making sure it's centered. The dry shaft loop in there. Spread it out a little bit, just in case you go with a four inch deal, or aluminum, or carbon fiber later. All right, move it out of the way. But it's good. All right, I gotta take the dry shaft out so we can weld it all the way around. All right, dry shaft loop is welded in. Gonna sand that little spot around where we welded. And we are ready for primer. We got the first one on there. Looking good. We're gonna check it again, make sure we didn't miss nothing. Go over the bare spots, let it set up, and we'll start blacking it out. All right, here we go. Start. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Beauty. All right. Looking good. Here we go, he's gonna do all the black. I'm gonna help him in a minute. He's gonna be doing most of it. All right, so the underneath is done. The firewall, we got one nice coat on it. And then tomorrow morning, or later tonight maybe, I don't know, we'll see. We'll come and give it another coat. Ah, oh, sorry. 
So, got one coat on it. On the firewall, we're gonna redo the, again, probably give it another coat later today, or tonight, because it's already night, but later tonight, and then tomorrow morning, we'll be able to start putting this thing back together. All right. It's about 10 o'clock. Gave it another coat. Come in in the morning. Make sure it's okay. Touch it up again if we have to. Probably give that center section one more shot. And then we can put the front end on it and keep going. All right? That's it for tonight. All right, so next morning, this was all nice and dry. So we hit it one more time with some fine sandpaper. Take all the nubs out of it. This way at least the firewall will look nice and clean. The bottom came out real nice. So I just sanded that down with 220 again. All right, uh, we're gonna blow it all off and hit the face of this one more time. All right, gang, firewall is all painted up. I'm gonna put this front end on one last time. This ain't coming off anymore. I'm gonna put that on, put the mid plate in there, bolt everything together. And then we're gonna put the front nose on and make the front support. And we're gonna put two little side supports in for the fenders on it. And then we can start putting the motor and everything together back in it. All right, so this is all nice and tight. We're just doing the mid plate right now. And then that's done. I'm gonna stick this front end on here real quick. I'm gonna finish mounting that. The goal is to get the mount done. I mean, the, the front support all done on the front end. And start putting the motor in. All right, so we're putting a Zeus fastener right here to hold that up. We're getting this side ready. I already made a tube up. So I'm gonna make sure they look even, square, side to side. And the chin spoiler, the spoiler for the front bumper. We gotta trim some of this back so it fits around those two hole openings. So right now, we're gonna basically cut notch it right here like this on both sides and then we'll be able to slide it through we'll make some holes and bolt it together from end to end before we start making the front so we know that that thing that's what's going to sit all right so we got these two uh mounts set up just finished this one up so i'll show you guys uh welding this one on time lapse we got it tacked on there, so I'm gonna finish from the inside now. I gotta go from the inside because I just did the two back sides of them just now. They look good. My dad went to the store to go get more uh, bolts and stuff so we can mount the front, and then we can uh, start making these pieces down here. Oh, uh, where's the piece at? Where are these hooks? These are gonna go on here. This bar is going to slide right onto that, so we're going to make little brackets to hold all the front on. Alright, so let me finish welding this one up. 